In this video, we are going to be reviewing how to solve systems of equations using the substitution method. Um, we are gonna, the problem we are going to be looking at is number 27 on your study guide from the Department of Education. It looks like this on your study guide. I've actually typed it up on a separate sheet of paper to give myself a little more space, and you'll probably want to use some scratch paper for most of these problems. So solving a system of equations using substitution is the best, best method to use when one or more of your equations is already written in terms of another variable. What I mean by that is you've already got y isolated here and you have 2x minus 4 equal to y. In this case, you actually already have x isolated as well, which means we can substitute either way. Um, what the substitution method does is it gives you a way of rewriting this equation, which currently has two unknowns, and making it so that you only have one unknown. Because if I only have one unknown, then I can solve the equation. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to start out by, we're going to call this equation number one, and we're going to call this equation number two, just for ease of communication. So I'm going to start by substituting equation 2 into equation 1. So I'm going to rewrite this equation with, instead of writing in x right here as 2 times x, I'm going to replace it with y plus 1 because I know that x equals y plus 1. So this becomes y equals 2, and instead of writing x there, I'm writing y plus 1, and then I've got minus 4. Okay, so what I have then is y equals 2 times x, because remember x equals y plus 1, and then minus 4. Now I have an equation that just has one unknown in it. It's just got that y. So I can solve equations like normal. I'm going to start by distributing to get rid of those parentheses. So I have y equals 2 times y plus 2 times 1 is 2, and then I've still got that minus 4. And now I can start combining like terms. I've got this 2 and this minus 4 here that are like terms because neither one of them has a variable. So 2 minus 4 would be negative 2. And now I can get all my variables on one side. So um, I'm going to subtract 2y from each side because I've already got a y over here. So why not? Remember that there's an understood 1 there, and 1 minus 2 gives me negative y. Over here, I'm left with negative 2. And then the last thing I need to do to figure out what y is, it's almost by itself, but I've got this negative 1 there. So I need to divide by negative 1 on both sides, which leaves me with y equals 2. I now have one of my unknowns to figure out the other. I'm going to go back into one of my original equations, doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to substitute my, um, substitute my y value that I just got into one of my other equations. So let's say we're going to substitute it into equation 2. The reason I chose 2 is because it already has x isolated, so it's going to make my work a little bit easier here. So my y value is 2, so this is going to be x equals, and instead of writing y here, I'm going to write what y equals, which is 2, and then plus 1. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. So the last thing I need to do is write these solutions as an ordered pair, remembering that ordered pairs are always our x-coordinate and then our y-coordinate. So this would be 3, 2. There's my answer. And you just solved by substitution.